Ethereum and Solana no longer safe from Bitcoin with Cardano riding shotgun. Welcome into the Ada Boys, where every day on this channel we come together to talk about things we like in crypto, mostly on Cardano. Big story last week, Cardano and Bitcoin collaboration creating a trustless interoperability bridge where does this story go next? Huh? Here's what it comes down to if you want to answer this question for me. Does this really create a significant advantage for Cardano? And how long can we reasonably expect that advantage for Cardano to last? Get in the comments. Hit the like button as well if you like the content. I would love that. Uh, and hit the subscribe button as well if you want uh, more. Is this going to be the catalyst that we need? Sure seems like the Bitcoin and Cardano folks, the communities have a lot lot more in common than a lot of other blockchains do. So what do you think as we jump into this news and we look to answer the questions that we are laying out here for you on the channel? Got to go ahead and share the screen there, Dawson. There we go. It's perfect timing to be looking for more, looking for answers, asking where does this story go next? As Fluid Tokens Chief Technical Officer El Raulito this morning did a TLDR thread about the Bitcoin operating system white paper and then looked at some frequently asked questions about, you know, this collaboration, this partnership. Uh, uh, four days now since the announcement, creating some terrific conversation points here and clarifying some things for us. So cold beer for our guy El Raulito here coming up this morning on, on the Ada Boys. And we're going to jump down into his facts where he asks the question here, why Cardano and not other chains or L2s? Um, and he writes, most L2s are EVM based and using ZK proofs is very hard on EVM. Uh, but on Cardano, using Plutus V3 and UTXOs, it's way lighter and easier to achieve it. I just think it's crucial that Cardano exploits the first user advantage here. While the, the UTXO commonality does give them an edge, there will be an ending at, at some point. I don't know when. It's one of my biggest questions that I'm searching for more answers on. I'll pass it along as soon as I get a better idea of that. Hopefully, we're looking at months. You know, But Bitcoin OS has posted several times since the initial announcement that they're looking at this as marrying the best of both worlds as you know bitcoin which brings security and permanence and reliability and sound money with web3 smart contract platforms and they look at it as cardano is the first to come home is there somebody in the comments maybe that can answer the question how long will cardano have at this how big is their advantage against the evm chains when it comes to uh, the compatibility with with zk proofs Okay, Raulito answers, how is it possible to use ZK on Bitcoin? I thought Bitcoin script was limited. It's true. However, you can split a big ZK operation in some chunks and validate them on Bitcoin. But more importantly, he links to a story here from July. Cointelegraph did a piece and got um, you know some quotes, and it comes from a different perspective. They use different words and emphasize different things than the announcement last week. And I thought this was, you know, some some uh, really good stuff in here. Okay, the big selling point in July around this announcement. It's new levels of functionality and scalability on mainnet without changing the base layer. In a written Q&A, Eden Yago, the, the co-founder of uh, Bitcoin uh, OS, he was the guy on stage that we had the audio and video from last week as he was talking at Cardano Summit in, in Dubai, shared some different thoughts that he did on the announcement, though. The the, the big selling po uh, point here, in the written Q&A, Eden Yago, co-founder Bitcoin OS, said the development represents an era where Bitcoin is no longer just digital gold. It's an operating system and a platform on which the entire world of decentralized applications can be built. It marks a chapter where Ethereum, Solana, and all of the other Layer 1 projects are no longer safe from competition by Bitcoin. Does that mean they want to onboard Solana and and ethereum like if you can't beat them join them or does he look at it like hey bitcoin os and cardano are teaming up to leverage what they do best to you know take out or to go head up with solana and ethereum and all the volume that they've been able to you know to to, to capitalize here as far as market share bitcoin still by far uh, the biggest market capitalization in crypto at 
approaching 60% Bitcoin dominance here. If you're waiting for an altcoin season, it's going the other way. Yago also explains ZK's breakthrough in proving verification of the Bitcoin mainnet aligns closely with the firm's goal, allowing it to be essentially turned into an operating system. Okay. Um, he, uh, he explained that by transforming the Bitcoin mainnet into more than a transaction system for payments, it could be used for decentralized services and activities like DAOs, DeFi, anything you can imagine. So a lot of those Bitcoin folks have been getting FOMO. That Maybe they've been in denial that they don't need, you know, Web3 uh, functionality. Uh, but no doubt that is changing in a big way around this story. Okay, other takeaways uh, from the Q&A from El Raulito. Then I'll get you his takeaways from the white paper. Will BTC users need to download a Cardano wallet or can they use a BTC wallet? This is awesome. They'll be able to use their Bitcoin wallet, but it's not strictly related to a BTC operating system. Instead, it's more related to account abstraction. And they've been working on this at Fluid Tokens. Will this kill wrapped BTC? No. Each, uh, BT, each form of BTC will have its own applications. What BTC wallets can you use? Uh, he gives you four here. I would recommend Xverse. It's preferred by folks on the Bitcoin operating system, but these other ones will do well. Tokyo Pay um, will get you there. Begin Wallet will get you there. And the Magic Eden Wallet, which was originally a Solana wallet, but um, has now become a Bitcoin and other chain wallet as well. And will BTC users be able to pay for transactions using their BTC? Yes. There are different teams working on this. CIP 118 proposes validation zones in Plutus V4. However, Fluid is the audit phase for Aquarium Babel fees and should be live at the end of 2024. Okay, I'm tracking. Up next here on the Ada Boys, the next angle, as far as the Bitcoin operating system white paper and how this thing works, I learned that you mint ZK BTC by sending BTC to a wallet address. It only unlocks when you burn that ZK BTC, then you get access to your original Bitcoin. That's their security mechanism. You don't need consensus. The operators only act if somebody is using a fake proof. The level of trust that is needed is way lower, and teams are working several strategies to mitigate the downside with the ZK process, which has um, historically been speed. Okay, and you can read more from Raulito. I also want to highlight Tobias as well. Terrific post about why Bitcoin would be wise to embrace Cardano. Uh, the Bitcoin operating system account retweeted this, as you can uh, see here. But he's got a couple of reasons. Bitcoin can do almost nothing without third-party software, he writes. As it's currently structured, Bitcoin can do nothing on its own. And all the other supposedly Bitcoin-native scalability smart contract solutions are in reality no more native to Bitcoin than Cardano is and far less centralized. Just shots fired at BRC20s and ordinals and uh, uh, stacks, runes. You know, there there has been... a an attempt, but if you can imagine trying to go back and engineer everything that has been built on EVM and uh, compatible and Cardano chains for like the last seven years, imagine going back and trying to do everything from scratch, but in an operating system that's not intended, that wasn't purposely built like Cardano was. I mean, ETH uh, and EVMs are trying to retrofit it onto it and they have a slightly better uh, opportunity than than Bitcoin, but not with the ease of operation for Cardano because of their scientific peer-reviewed process. You know, this is all paying off in a big way. It's nearly a decade later. We had to get clowned on and windmill dunked on of people that were making fun of your science and 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 and, and peer-reviewed papers. But now it's turning out that hey, maybe there was actually some freaking genius going on. Number two, Cardano represents Bitcoin's fastest path to a robust, scalable, and feature-rich smart contract experience. You can read more there. Tobias Ilskov there, the blockchain educator, the D-Rep, the Cardano Nexus co-founder, and a man of God. Okay, so uh, salute to him and salute to you. We're back tomorrow with more crypto news and Cardano takeaways. Until then, shoot your boy.